Last week on Turn of the Tide. I've been hearing rumors. What kind of rumors? Pretty disturbing rumors. People are saying the child Teresa is making isn't yours. Astro Walker, what do you mean by calling out so loud in the road for people to see you in the place this night? And the mops are out so damn big. The old village got say you sleep here tonight. His name is Ben White. And I love him. Biggest wedding of the year. Tobago people can talk about it for years to come. You know, how much times I have to tell you don't talk with your mouth full? If you think you're going to get on some new wedding when it have decent people around and have them think it's so up, you better think again. It's not you people go blame, it's me. When I eat in, there's one thing I just care about getting the food in the belly. That is hog behavior. Mm. Hear you. You not any better? It's not so decent people does belch. What stupid is you talking this early morning time? You have any special way to belch? All you have to do is open your mouth and let the gas come out? You think them big shot people does belch different to me? At least they just put their hand in front of their mouth and when they finish they just say, excuse me? For me to ask anybody to excuse me for? Everybody does belch? When you go into Teresa wedding and display them kind of manners, it's Teresa you gonna make sure. <clears throat> Joshua Walker? Next time you're going to belch, so go straight in the closet. Me is one man. Does belch anytime, any place, and anyhow I want. If you want to go and hide in the closet when you want to belch, it's your business. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to all you two again. When all you do any kind of nastiness in company, I'm going to play a don't know all. Just for you, so hopeless. But Ron, I come, you I come. And a little manners could have helped you. My brother Charlie and his wife come in for the wedding and they're going to stay here for the weekend. Ma, we not going to sleep on no ground. When you have guesses, you have to give them the best. Every time people come here to stay, it's me that have to suffer. It's not for long, it's just for the weekend. And let me tell all of you one time. When Charlie and his wife come, all you not using them rusty old cup to drink tea in and taking out my new tea set. You mean I had to use tea cup and salsa? That is exactly what I mean. You crazy tiny. One of them teacup can't even fill one of the hole in my teeth. <laughs> and you can't eat with your hand. You have to use knife and fork. No, I know you're really crazy, Tiny. How do you expect me to use knife and fork to suck out the fall for Tanya? <laughs> I a man like to cut my bone to suck out the mouth. You go just have to eat decent. Morning, ma'am. Morning, pa. Morning, ma'am. Yeah. What time you come home last night? Around 12. You're not married yet, too. How do you think it's looking to see you sleeping half the night by then? You don't think you're having to share again, Tiny? Keep your mouth out of this. I'm talking about how it's looking. We was trying to fix up the place, ma'am. Till 12 o'clock in the night? Every night? Give the girl a chance now, Tiny. She's getting married Sunday. You shouldn't be drinking this amount of coffee. What you should be drinking is milk and orange juice and eating more greens. There you, mister. You can't just get up from the table, pick up your rusty cup and plate and walk out just so. You have to say excuse me first. Excuse me first? <laughs> Listen, you have to get some paint and some varnish today. You have to paint over the drawing room and varnish the furniture. We? Oui? Well, you got to do it, but I got to supervise the work. I know that. Every time people come here, it's me to suffer. I to sleep on the ground, I to paint house, I to varnish furniture. I don't know why them people don't stay in the house. Is your uncle and his wife? And is I who invite them for the wedding? 
and you could help him, Joshua. Huh? <laughs> My days for painting house and vanishing chair for done long time, girl. You not eating? I don't know, Rima. If you want a healthy child, you will have to make sure you eat proper. The doctor told me not to obey. I'm sure he didn't tell you to starve yourself. Bye, ma. Bye, pa. Mm. You eating again, Joshua? Again? Me not stop yet? At your age, too much weight not good? Use doctor no robot. Talk about doctor. I thought you were so good since last week. I will go after the wedding. How are you feeling? Half and half. I remember the day I married. I could never forget that day. You was young and bony. I was slim. Slim, bony, all the same thing. I look at you and I wonder to myself if you could mind one. So I asked Peter, boy, you know what you're doing? He said, you know. I said, she could wash ways and wash clothes and cook food for you to eat. I know what he said. He said, she can learn. I did not learn a thing. When I married, I could have do all them things. And after the wedding, I did jump for three days. <laughs> I went, no, no, I'm going to jump for this time. <laughs> <laughs> We greatly appreciate whatever help we can get, in whatever form we can get it, whether it be time, finance, patience, whatever. The children here are all handicapped in some way, physical, mental, or psychological. Sometimes a combination of all three. We do not offer them charity. We offer them love, understanding, and training so that they could be as independent as possible, so they can grow and develop to their full potential as human beings and make a positive contribution to the society. I think it's a wonderful thing you're doing here. And I would like to volunteer my services in whatever way you think best. There have been people who have volunteered their services in the past. And just after a few weeks, they disappeared. I would like to know, why you've come here? Is it to escape the boredom of my life? I'm not married. Then may I ask why you've come? I want to help people who need help. I don't think anyone needs it as these kids. I have to be careful. There have been occasions in the past when these kids become very attached to the people who assist them. And when these people leave, the kids become depressed for long periods. They lose confidence in themselves. They blame themselves for the person's leaving. And they are worse off than before. I can't promise that I won't leave. But I can promise that while I'm here, I'll do everything in my power to help the children I come in contact with. Hello. Working hard, I see. I always work hard. I can't help thinking that your coming here was arranged by fate. I think it was arranged by the ministry. Have you been deliberately avoiding me? Or is it that we just don't run into each other? Why should I want to avoid you? Maybe you're afraid? Of you? that the old magic would start all over again? I don't think so. Perhaps not right now, but in a few months, who knows? <laughs> 